two years ago, I happened to be at a, in an office, the first time in my life had vertigo. And as a result of that vertigo, I needed to have things from my stomach come up and come out. It did. I was in incredible pain in my chest and I knew, three minutes knew I was dying. Insisted on going to the only hospital that I would insist on going to and that was Abbott Northwestern. But at the foot of my bed stood a doctor. Because I remember the look on his face when he came in. He, he kind of shot me a look and I caught his eyes and I thought, you had a problem, we gotta fix it. You know, it's a really devastating problem and the more the diagnosis is delayed, the bigger the problem. I wasn't speaking, I was bellowing because I had no air, didn't realize why I had no air, but I kept speaking to this one doctor, Dr. Johnson, who was standing at the foot of my bed listening, and I could tell he was listening deeply to me. His esophagus perforated. Not only is it incredibly painful, which but it can be really devastating because you can get a bad infection. He said, we must eliminate esophageal tear found that in fact my esophagus connected to my stomach had ruptured over an inch and a half. All the contents of my stomach, instead of coming out, actually went into my chest cavity and I was, as my surgeon told me, I was in fact dying. So the nurses were able to start IVs, the lab was able to get in there and draw blood, and actually was able to come and take some images of him so we could get the information right away. The many acts of love and kindness that I experienced are far too many to mention. To be, to be in a hospital and to have someone wash your hair and, and pour warm water over your head when you are so sick is such an incredible act of love and to be touched in that way and to be cleaned up. I was touched by 75 or 80 people, not five people, not 10 people, but I was cared for over a 10 day period by 80 to 85 people and that's why I'm sitting here today.